Radio Show, episode number 453. I am your host, Roman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. Well, let's not delay really and let's hop right into it. So, first news is Game Love at Shrek's Dad, New Breezies, and Score Pan to the game. So, like I mentioned before, the Game Love My Little Pony game is still going strong and it's one of those games where if you enjoyed it that's pretty cool uh personally for me i'm not a big fan of it and what else Uh, yeah i mean okay uh from my time uh looking at the news and just reviewing uh, not really reviewing but just Reporting on the news and stuff, especially on the game loft side of the thing, um, I see that game loft loves this IP, loves their uh, loves the game as much as the fans do, and I feel like to be a bit cynical, um, this game is somehow making them some cash, and the thing is if it's a good product and the fans enjoy it then good on them they're they're doing some supply and demand but uh on another side from what i can see and tell uh when the game was created and whatnot the people at game loft really enjoy the ip really enjoy the brand because even with the show being finished they keep creating new characters, new um, settings and not whatnot. Like they just keep putting in more and more and more. And with this, um, Scorpion's dad, uh, I, I don't think that he had a name. Uh, okay, it's Sendek the Elder. Like they put in Sendek, and if I'm not mistaken, Sendek is. It could be one of the G1 character names. I'm not 100 percent sure, but. From what I know, he is originally, or he came from the My Little Pony comics, the um, Finship is Magic series. And they, they're where he first appeared and whatnot. And um, Scorpan is here too. And here's the thing, Scorpan appeared in the show, but he didn't appear in his form right now. Um, from what I can tell, he was in stained glass mode or in the stained glass members whatever it is so uh here we got score pen in how he looks and he looks similar to the comic version so that is pretty cool and why not and um breezies yeah breezies are small <laughs> um i got no idea how the breezies are going to be integrated into the game um let's see yeah, I, I don't know. It could be another new zone, but probably not. I got no idea. But uh, this is what I <laughs> uh, noticed. Uh, okay, uh, they, they have creative um, things to say. They say, it's easy for this breezy to get freezy easily. Say that five times fast. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> and t mild mannered brother would one day escape from his elder sibling's uh, lingering shadow and save Equestria in the bar- bargain. Okay. Prince Scorpan. Alright. Uh, okay. Uh, Cinderella. Let's see. Uh, this centaur hermit went... Oh, sorry. This is not his dad. Oh. Sophisto, you got it wrong. You know what I'm saying? Okay, uh, this center hermit went so far as to kidnap an equestrian unicorn so that he could drain a pony's magical power. This did not go well. Uh, this did not go how he planned. Okay, uh, I, I need to do a correction. Um, Sindak here is not Scorpion's dad. Uh, yeah, shame on me for not noticing this, but yeah, um, Sindak here is one of the um, Centaur shamans that was dabbling in uh, the art of sucking magic out of living things, and he was sent uh, Terek's mentor, not his father. The, the father figure is something else. Now I just remember. Yeah. So, um, 
I'm not sure if the uh, fans. Yeah, I don't care. So really, um, yeah, my uh, correction, not dad, but uh, mentor or teacher, whatever it is you want to call. So yeah, um, I'm not 100 sure how this is going to work because. Uh, it seems like the cost for everything is a bit expensive. From Sendek to Twirly, like, they're gonna cost a lot. So what, uh, if you want to buy this, you have to spend about $14.98 and $0.98 and $10 here and so on. I mean, it's a bit pricey if you ask me. But if the fan base enjoys it, then who am I to say? So anyway, let's move on to the next news. So, <clears throat> the second My Little Pony movie will be skipping theaters, heading to Netflix. So let's see. The official second the official second My Little Pony movie will appear <laughs> will apparently be skipping the theaters altogether, according to Variety. In in a change that is most likely thanks to the pandemic. They will instead be premiering it on Netflix, completely streamable. They haven't announced if they will be a different date for it. This uh, for it with for it with this format. So we are still looking at September twenty fourth for the release. I'm sure we will hear about it on the twenty fifth during the brand's presentation event source so this is pretty interesting and exciting um, da, 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 da. yeah okay sorry just um looking through but <clears throat> from what i am looking here this is pretty interesting this is one of those cases where um Due to the pandemic, a lot of things are not. Uh, we we are not able to do the things that we usually do, um, go play games, activity, sports, and movie watching, and so on. So this is one of those cases where I can understand, and this is smart. This is a smart, smart move. I'm not hundred percent sure how. Uh, Hasbro or yeah, let's just say Hasbro. I'm not hundred percent sure how Hasbro is making money out of this because when you show something in theaters, uh, the movie revenue ticket is kind of how they earn back money because people buy ticket to watch the movie and they make a buck. Uh, the theaters make an extra by selling condiments, foods, and so on. So, yeah, um, that's that there. So, I'm just guessing that for Netflix, is kind of the same. Uh, people put in or pay the subscription to Netflix for, uh, let's just say, $10 a month. And then, if your show gets watched, you get something out of it. Probably, I don't know. But this is one of those things where putting it on Netflix is really awesome for those who um, watch it. Personally, I do have a Netflix account, but I am i don't watch it that much. Um, I, I have what? Uh, I have other people watch it for me <laughs> kind of feel. So yeah, um, I have it, but it's not one of those things where I consider it to be my mainstay. I, I usually use YouTube because I like to watch content creators do work. Yay. So, um, on the business side of things, uh, with the second movie coming out on Netflix, they have to do a lot of marketing to get the word out there just to get fans really... Uh, knowing about it, like just getting the getting the info out there for fans to watch. Uh, they they have to do a lot of advertising. They have to do a lot of toy promotions and whatnot because one of the few things that make money is selling toys. And when the My Little Pony movie came out, there were a lot of toys. Like I even 
Yeah, I. Oh, this is dusty. So anyway, um, I even got a um, tempest shadow brushable with if I no okay yeah, I remember this is not auto anyway um this is one of those things where I bought because I really like the character and it and this is just one of those things where it's simple enough that I can just keep it and yeah um <clears throat> and the thing is that's how companies make cash. And in this scenario here, Hasbro needs to push the marketing for ponies if they want to make something out of it. Because I'm not 100% sure how Netflix is going to help them. Like, yeah, I mean, unless it's one of those uh, stream on demands or... I, I don't think so. Like, I don't think Netflix has that. But it will be very interesting. And I can bet you if you don't have a Netflix and when this movie comes out, by the way, um, Netflix, if you're a new user, you can have Netflix for free for about a week or month. So yeah, if you're just out there just to watch ponies, go ahead. So that's the news for this week. So... <clears throat> Uh, let's move on to the next topic and the next topic is what have I been doing my week so in all honesty I've been playing a lot of video games <laughs> yeah um, and it's nothing new it's just Dark Souls 3 I enjoy the game a lot and after beating the DLC campaign and so on I, I, I just enjoy it like I'm not now I'm on New Game Plus and I really need to balance my work life and my game life. So yeah, that, that's, that's something that I need to do there. Uh, besides that, I do need to work on the card game channel. Yes, um, Because of the pandemic, I am not able to go out and do stuff. But judging by the LGS shop owner messaging the group that he has uh, we might have a, a play in store event coming soon depending on how the government word stuff or allows it so we'll have to wait and see there but I am excited because uh, I get I'm going to try and do content for it because it's one of those things where I enjoy creating and if I can get, <laughs> if I can get more content, if I can record more things, more stuff, I'll be really happy and excited. But for now, I'm just gonna enjoy uh, things. Like I'm gonna go with the flow and see how it goes. So yeah, um, that's my week. I haven't been doing much. Um, yeah, that's that's about it. So, let's see. I, I think we should wrap things up. Yep, yep. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. So, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at the If Yeah. If you would like to reach us on the Twitters, you can contact the show's Twitter account at the MBS Show and my personal Twitter account at Norman Sanzo. And also, please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also, stay Future Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Uh, also, we have the review and discussion podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, you'll catch me and Totera reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, and specials. And sometimes we like to do other things than ponies. And those are anime, cartoons, comic books, manga, and also video games. And you no know, movies. Sometimes we like to do movies too. Who knows? We might do a animated movie. I have one in mind. I really want to do with Terra. Um, I'm gonna see how we. You know, it's one of those things where it's fun. It's it's gonna be a fun movie. <clears throat> now, if you like to support the show, you can do so at patreoncom show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And also a huge thank you from me 
talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky like, Knight, Jeffrey, Master of Leg, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So, anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode. Yes, sure. See ya.